Hey PS11, this is Mrs. Rosevere, and today I'm just going to give you a brief introduction to angles. So one thing before we start you should know is that angles are measured in degrees. So I'm going to say that as we talk through each of these angles. Okay? So let's start with right angles, and I've kind of marked it in purple here. So right angles are exactly 90 degrees, and they're formed when two perpendicular lines intersect. So here we have two intersecting perpendicular lines, and they form a 90 degree angle. You'll see 90 degree angles in squares and rectangles, some triangles. You'll see them all over the place, but they form exactly 90, okay? So that would be a right angle. And right angles are often noted by drawing this little square at the angle. Okay, let's move on to acute angles. Acute angles are less than 90 degrees. So they have a measure that's less than 90 degrees. Okay, and sometimes you can remember them by saying, oh, they're so acute, they're small and cute. Okay, so less than 90 degrees, so an example of an acute angle would be something like this. As you can see, it's smaller or narrower than a 90 degree angle. So maybe that's a 45 degree angle, roughly. I'm kind of estimating there. Uh, this could be an acute angle, a little narrower. Uh, this may be an acute angle. Anything less than 90 degrees is an acute angle. And finally, at the bottom, we have obtuse angles. And obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees. So a right angle is kind of a benchmark angle for you. So if you know your 90 degree angles, that helps you be able to identify acute and obtuse. So an obtuse angle is greater than 90 degrees, so it's going to look something like this, kind of wide, okay? Wider than 90 degrees. Maybe something like this, okay? These are obtuse angles, greater than 90 degrees. So let's say this one is 150 degrees. Okay, so that's just a brief introduction to three different types of angles that you're going to see this year in fourth grade. I hope it helps.